my name is Wangui McKelvey, General Manager of the Microsoft 365 business here at Microsoft. Today, I'm here with Natalie Dares, Corporate Vice President of Microsoft Digital Employee Experience. Hey, Natalie, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Wangui. I'm really happy to be here to share how we imagine the employee experience at Microsoft uh, to support the hybrid workplace and the critical role that Windows 11 has played in that process. Thinking about the many tools we deliver to our fellow Microsoft employees, we sometimes take the operating system for granted. But Windows is the critical foundation we rely on and is at the core of enabling productivity and collaboration experiences for our employees. Windows 11 is designed specifically to empower hybrid work while keeping organizations and employees' data, content, and apps secure on any device. Now, Microsoft is an organization with over 275,000 employees and vendors, and that's a massive scale to account for and to adapt to. Natalie, how do you even begin to think about ensuring each employee is not only equipped with the right tools and resources they need, but get the best possible experience from day one? Yeah, in Microsoft uh, Digital Employee Experience, our mission is to power, protect, and transform the employee experience at Microsoft, and then provide the blueprint for our customers and partners to follow. And employees are the backbone of any organization. So whether it's day one or year 20, every employee needs the right experience to be successful in their role. And so when an employee joins Microsoft, they receive a welcome kit and they unbox their PC and Windows is the first thing they interact with. And as you know, first impressions count, as does every impression an employee has of how their organization equips and prepares them to succeed. And Windows 11 makes an amazing first impression. What you said really resonates with me. I joined Microsoft in February of 2021 during the pandemic. And I remember getting my PC and being delighted with the experience. I was a longtime user of another platform and thought I was going back in time. But to my surprise and delight, the Windows PC unboxing experience was just great. The Surface device was beautiful and sleek. The Windows experience was much more user friendly than I had remembered. And I said to myself, wow, okay then, let's go Windows. Uh, so for me, my first impression, it really was a good one. As a technology driven company, we want our employees to see how we're on the leading edge of innovation including becoming early adopters of our own products and services. What has Microsoft's approach been to Windows 11? As customer zero, we're the first to test drive all of the new products and services at Microsoft. And our learnings from this are critical to ensuring that whatever we put into the market delivers a great experience to customers and partners. And we're excited that moving to Windows 11 helped us achieve our goals for employee satisfaction. Shifting to Windows 11 was actually a breeze, and we upgraded 190,000 devices in only five weeks. We also saw low support call volume and positive feedback from employees about features and functionality and not product issues or reliability. That's so great to hear. I do want to acknowledge that we at Microsoft are really privileged to be part of a technology first company. But even so, there are steps that you can take to ensure a smooth rollout. What can other organizations learn from Microsoft's experience? At Microsoft, we've already moved to cloud-based management, uh, which makes upgrading to Windows 11 really easy to manage. Organizations should also know that Windows 11 is built on the same foundation as Windows 10. And so upgrading is easy, secure, and it's a stable experience that doesn't require investment in new tools or processes. During the pandemic, we've seen just how important Windows 11 has become from remote onboarding to virtual meetings, emails, and casual coffee chats. Windows 11 has become the secure platform that's foundational to our hybrid workplace strategy. What are your recommendations, Natalie, for organizations to continue as they learn to adapt to the evolving demands of hybrid work? To have success in the hybrid workplace um, requires strong alignment between your digital experience, uh, physical spaces, and organizational culture. And without investing equally in all three, your employees won't thrive in the world of hybrid work. So that means investing in the right digital experiences like Microsoft Teams, Viva, and Windows 11, working closely with your counterparts on your facilities team 
to ensure that physical spaces are optimized uh, for hybrid collaboration, and then making sure that cultural norms are in place to ensure that everyone, regardless of where they choose to work, feels supported. Windows 11 truly is helping us to accelerate the shift to hybrid work at Microsoft. And I strongly believe in the work that we're doing. Thanks again for joining me today, Natalie. It's been a real pleasure sharing our Windows 11 journey uh, with you today. We're so pleased to be customer zero for Windows. And I'm confident uh, that the hard work the team has done to test and validate the experience at Microsoft is going to pay off for our customers and partners. And even if you're not planning to upgrade soon, rest assured that when you are ready, your employees will benefit from all the great capabilities in Windows 11. Based on our experience, whenever you're ready, Windows 11 is ready for you.